Hey there and welcome back to Retro Video Game Memories. This is the channel where we talk about all the cool games we played back in the day and the memories we have of playing them. And today we want to do a Let's Play video of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 3 The Manhattan Project. Cowabunga dudes. I'm gonna pick Dawn since he has the longest range weapon. That's always fun. Oh yeah, we've also got the story. So yeah, of course the turtles are on vacation. And of course Shredder is up to his no good tricks again. Bummer, dudes. It's Shredder. Oh yeah, that's the story. We got Shredder who kidnapped April and took Manhattan Island. How do you even lift an entire island? Do you realize the amount of energy that you would need? And besides, what kind of machine is he using? Some kind of anti-gravity machine? Um, he's not using any kind of propulsion or conventional rockets. But yeah, that's the story. So we're playing with Leo and Don, Leonardo and Donatello. You've got your A button jumps, B button attacks. Don has got this kind of longer jump. Oh, oops. and there's friendly fire on. We can hit each other. Okay. So friendly fire means that I can hit my friend, right? So, if it's not friendly fire, then your fire is friendly. It doesn't damage your friend. I never understood that. It totally confuses me. And we've got these ninjas that we're fighting against, which are... The, the Foot Clan. The Foot Clan. And they explode when you beat them. Not because the game is being funny about it, but because they're robots actually. I never knew that. I only recently realized it. Oh, I guess those would be the uh, lounge chairs, hammocks, lazy chairs. How do you call those? Uh, lounge chairs, I think. Where the turtles were relaxing. Oh yeah, and if you press A and B, C, you get this uh, attack. Um, well, how do you do it? You need to press AD? Oh, I forgot how it's done. Yeah, anyway, you're, you generally don't want to use the special attack because it drains your health by one bar. So it's, it's a really lousy attack. Only if you're like cornered or something. And yeah, if you're down to one bar of health, you can keep spamming it. But if you're down to one bar of health, it's, it's really not the position you want to be in. You're far too likely to lose that last bar. If you make 50,000 points, you get an extra life, which is nice. Oops. And of course, if you beat enemies with weaker attacks, you get more points than if you use the, uh, the spammy attack. That, I think that one's gonna fall, right? No, these ones are gonna fall. They're pretty creative in the way that the enemies pop up from behind cover and stuff. When did you play this game first? 1998. 1998. Yeah, one of the first ones we, we had. Did we buy it or did we from borrow Lowe. it? Again from Lowe. Yeah. 
back in the 90s there was this whole cartridge trading scene in uh, junior high school. You'd usually lend one cartridge for another cartridge, but sometimes you'd negotiate like I'll give you three cartridges for this one really fancy one. And there was always a bit of risk because you didn't know what you were gonna get. Like I remember one time I borrowed a cartridge that was supposed to be Wacky Races and I got Circus Charlie and I was pretty upset at, uh, at my uh, colleague. I never did return that part which is surface charge. I don't remember what I gave him for it, but yeah, I kept it. I figured he he tricked me, and there there even wasn't such a thing as wacky races. I mean, come on, how how awesome would it be to have a NES game with wacky races? And uh, I think there is one, right? Yeah, there's also one where you control Mati. Right? Oh. Yeah, yeah. Ah. Oh. So is this Rocksteady or is this the other one? I think it's Rocksteady. See, I've got 19,000 and you're already at 40,000. I, I don't get it. I always make such low scores. Hey, nice little 3D effect going on there. I'm never too thrilled about these kind of vehicle levels, ride levels. There's even some nice parallax on the clouds. That's pretty cool. Ah. Whoa, some serious frame rate dropping. Uh, you could get on. We've got the cartridges for Purples 2 and Purples 4, which is Purples Tournament Fighters. We don't have an actual one-game cartridge for Purples 3, we've got the fancy Pocket Games cartridge, the one with 150 games. Where did we get the, the 150 games cartridge? From Okazi. Right, so that's Okazi.ro is the Romanian... Uh, kind of version of eBay. I guess each country has their own thing. I know Australia has got the uh, dump tree. Americans are gonna be familiar with eBay and I guess Craigslist. In Romania we've got Okazi and, and there's also OLX which I guess is uh, I guess it's in several countries. Here in Europe at least. Hey, those vehicles look really cool kind of the design. And the controls in uh, purples are pretty tight, so I've got nobody to blame but myself for playing crappy. Nice little animation there of going to the summary. Hey, watch it. Haha. <laughs> this one always reminds me of Top Gun. Oh man, those, those things are so annoying. Mm. 
that. Actually, you could probably time it and keep avoiding the attacks. Once again, I'm not that good. Actually, I'm, I'm playing decently this time. Usually, I, I lose even more life by, by the time I get to this point. We could just dodge the attacks from these things continuously, but like, oh man, I'm down to two bars of health. Hey, with Dawn I can uh, stay out of the way and just kind of spam them. At least the turrets only take two hits. if this one is rock steady or which one is rock steady. Is one of them is a rhino, one of them is a crocodile, alligator or something. I think Bebop is the guy with the spinning thing on his head. Okay, and then rock steady is the rhino. Yeah. And there's something in the front of it. So this would be Bebop. No. Does a ton of damage when he does that attack. That was really lame. Remember, the bosses generally have a ton of health. And now it's what, a sewer level? How did they jump like a hundred meters up? Okay, so just this map and we'll finish up the video. After this one, it's the subway level, right? Okay. There's some kind of. I knew it! It's kind of huge. Okay. Flicker because the NES can't do too many sprites at once. Oh, these guys are really lame. Oh no! That's Diva. Oh, okay. I think. We just gotta keep dodging this, right? Can't hit him yet. Back in the day, this would have been a really high-end game, actually. Like a triple A. Did they even have like? Yeah, this would be more or less the equivalent of a triple A game. Huh. And then on the SNES, did they ever make uh, Turtles? As in this this exact one, or is it like a different one? No, it's called Turtles in Time. Uh -huh. And on Sega Genesis is uh, the Hyper Stone Heist. Right, I heard of that one. If we ever catch uh, an online listing of some SNES cartridges, we should, we should snatch we them We should up. get an SP2 SNES. Yeah, that too. The save states are really useful. Man, Lion King is brutal on the SNES. Not too easy on the NES either, but on the SNES it's really fun. It's 
sweep, sweep, sweep it on the net. Yeah, yeah, right. It's got only five levels, it doesn't have the stampede and it doesn't have the... Elephant graveyard. Exactly. Man, that elephant graveyard level. What were they thinking? It's supposed to be a kid's game. But the music is awesome on in Lion King. I even listen to it sometimes, like that's for atmospheric music while I'm working. Video game music in general is excellent for uh, kind of for studying or for while you're working. You want to speak cello? Uh, I'm afraid to do that. Yes, and I got an extra life. That was excellent. Pizza pie. They sure don't spoil you with too much power-ups or health drops. I'm really pleased with myself, I passed 50,000 points. I never got into the whole points thing in these games. Nice one, clean 100,000. I guess it's uh, something from the old arcade days and Pac-Man and Tetris and whatever. But uh, on the nest it seems a little pointless. I mean, your, your high score is not saved in the arcade cabinet for your bragging rights. It's just kind of there. Did you ever care about no, high scores? No, really. I care about earning extra lives from high scores though. Yeah. Oh, I remember one time uh, in Robocop 2, you've got that pretty cool end screen with the high scores. And I think the high scores in there are the developers or something. And you get to put in your name, if you beat like 2 million points and stuff. That's one time when, when I cared a little bit. I guess it's early attempts at making the game uh, have more replay value. But nowadays you've got far more interesting completion of things to do. Yeah, these guys don't have all that much health. You can shoot them like five times and they're done. These are the most annoying things when they squish you. Excellent, he's coming after you and I keep spamming him. I hate that how you can just touch enemies and they hit and they damage you. I wish there were games where you would touch the enemy and damage them. Yeah, and I guess on the next level we're going to a blimp, the turtle's blimp. Oh, and now we're going to Manhattan. Oh, because we were on the bridge. Right, right, right. And that was stage three. Our stage two was just kind of the submarine ride. So 
Oh yeah, this is level 4. We're probably gonna end the video here. So, if you like this kind of video, you can leave us a like, subscribe to the channel. We try to put out at least a video every week. Um, leave us a comment. Did you play Turtles on the NES back in the day? Did you play it on Arcade? Did you play it on the SNES? Or did you play the modern day Turtles on, I guess, PlayStation 2, PlayStation 3? Leave us a comment. We always do enjoy getting comments and reading all the comments. So, I guess that's it. And as always, thanks for watching.